Hey folks, it's Finn. I'm just popping in with a very quick check-in because unlike me, <laughs> I've been very quiet across all my social media this last week. And the reason for that, to be honest, is because I've been in bed from last Wednesday afternoon until today. And today's Tuesday. Oops. I went to my lower surgery appointment last Wednesday and I got home and I just physically could not sit upright anymore. I led down and that was it. And that's how it's gone the last few days since then. Every time I've tried to get up, my body has just felt like really heavy. Everything's just felt too much. Oh, it's also overwhelming and I've just got straight back into bed and I've kind of just allowed that because I think that needed to happen but I am sorry to anybody I worried I never I know you never ask for apologies but there's so many people that really care and support of what's going on and the last thing I want to do is worry people so thank you for checking in on me I'm not okay but I will be okay I think Dealing with mum's diagnosis of dementia is now hitting home. I think with all the practical stuff there was to do, there wasn't much thinking around the reality of what mum now has. And that's now hitting. You know, I've still got some practical stuff to do. Her finances and that are still being organised. And But I, I don't think it's that that's overwhelming me. I think more than anything, it's just not quite knowing how to now process this news of mum's dementia I just I just I don't know you know I'm just missing mum I'm I'm missing our texts every day and just just to know I can't communicate with her in the way I used to and it I'm not I'm just not processing all of that yet and it's all just feeling overwhelming and it's like I can't even go there it's just so hard I've not seen her for a week I saw her Last Monday, when I took her to her appointment, and then I was going to see her when I came back from London, but I've just crashed, just absolutely crashed. I got up today because, as I've mentioned before, I'm doing this rap course for carers. It's a mental health tool called Wellbeing Recovery Action Planning, and there's two women in Eastbourne that run Coastal Wellbeing, and um, they apply rap to people who are caring for other people. Doing the rap course has been really helpful in terms of connecting with other people that are also in caring roles and get where you're coming from and just having that space each week to just kind of share stuff that works and what doesn't, you know, that's been really helpful. But what I'm really looking forward to is some counselling and Care for the Carers in Eastbourne has organised for me to have some counselling and that starts tomorrow, which is amazing and I really desperately need that right now because I am not doing so great at all. Ooh. but it is understandable I suppose isn't it it's part of the process there's going to be some grieving around what's happening with mum but at the moment just everything just feels like this big ball of mess <laughs> and I keep trying to unpick it and then just go I can't and lying down <laughs> that, that tends to be how it is so <clears throat> this check in is just to say I'm really sorry. I'm so grateful for everyone's love and support, all the messages I get from people. It means so, so much and I haven't forgotten you. It's just so hard at the moment to turn on the camera and actually say anything <laughs> other than this. I'm not great. There is a lower surgery update coming. I will do it, I promise. It's just right now, I don't know what weighs up. <laughs> I really don't. But it will get better. I've got history to prove that. I know that. I know that the stuff passes and it'll be fine. But boy, when you're waiting for it to pass, it is tough business. It really, really is. Even if I've got nothing funny, interesting, informative to say, I'll try and do at least one update each week. Even if it's just me standing there going, I've been in bed. I'm not coping. <laughs> I keep it real, you know, I, I do always share honestly and so this is an honest vlog, this is what mental health looks like, sometimes life is crappy and all you can do is survive on a daily basis doing the best you can day by day and that's what I'm doing right now. My best is not even close to like what 
a normal good day is for me. But if I'm getting up, splashing my face with some water and getting back in bed, at least I've done something. Progress, not perfection. Thanks for watching everybody and for all your love as always. Take care of yourselves. See you soon.